Welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you for joining us for another segment. Going to be speaking with Dr. Randy Schatzman tonight. He's CEO at Bolt Biotherapeutics, and he's joining us to talk about how Bolt is uh, developing drugs to turn cold tumors hot in order to achieve an anti-tumoral activity in unresponsive patients. Welcome to the program, doctor. Thank you, Neil. Glad to be with you. Bolt Therapeutics. Give us a little bit of your background and then tell us what it is about Bolt that attracted you. So Neil, I've been doing in development for all of my career for about 30 years now. And uh, one of the things that particularly fascinates me uh, and gets me up every morning is to uh, introduce new therapeutics uh, into patients, treating disease unmet needs, seeing patients respond. Uh, there's, to be honest, there's just nothing like it to see patients get better in the face of, of previously having no options in terms of diseases. Uh, so that's that's what I'm about, um, and I enjoy this. I founded a, a company uh, more than a decade ago where we invented a new treatment for chronic migraine, um, but I had some investors that were in common between that company and Bolt and had the opportunity to come meet the, the team at Bolt, and they got me just incredibly excited about what uh, the work that's happening there. What does Bolt Biotherapeutics um, involve themselves in? So we're at uh, novel ways to treat uh, what we call unmet needs in cancer. And in particular, what we see, Neil, uh, that's a, the problem for patients today. I mean, first and foremost, there's a lot of great therapies out there that are actually doing uh, you know, long-term benefit for patients. Uh, but unfortunately, as, treat, as patients get uh, treated more and more with some of those agents, uh, we're developing, uh, in, in many cases, under-responsiveness to those, and that needs to be addressed by giving those patients an additional option. But in addition, as you probably know, if you've had friends or colleagues that, that get cancer, uh, have treated and maybe even have recovered, almost always cancer comes back. So this recurrence uh, is obviously an ongoing problem, and uh, the technology that we have at Bolt uh, addresses both of these issues. So what about the issue of resistance to different therapies? So often what happens is when a, a tumor, as, as you know, often they, they metastasize. And as they metastasize from one site to migrate to different parts of the body, they can also change their phenotype. And what I mean by that is they change the type of expression of proteins that are on their surface uh, and oftentimes become uh, resistant to the, the drug that they were initially treated with. And therefore, they need something else. Is this resistance the end result of recurrence 100% of the time? Now, you can, you can have your, your cancer recur and you're still sensitive to the original you know, drug that you were treated with. I think what we're thinking about, I need to be retreated. And oftentimes those, those drugs are, uh, have a lot of side effects associated with them. And what we're thinking about at Bolt is, well, how can we prevent... Uh, these these cancers from coming back and recurring to begin with. Mm -hmm. And so what we're doing is we're unlocking what we call the innate immune system within the body and allowing that immune system to actually have a, a recognition that okay. the immune system remembers. Yeah, so we, what, we, what we're doing with our patients is we are instilling what we call an immunologic memory of their tumor. And so when that, that tumor comes back, the immune system will recognize it and eliminate it without having to be retreated. Now, is that the, the Bolt body platform that we heard about? Yeah, well, that's the modality, the therapeutic modality that we use. And simply put, what a, a Bolt body is, Neil, is a, a tumor-targeted monoclonal antibody, meaning we're able to use a, a monoclonal antibody to directly target this agent to the specific tumor in question. And to that monoclonal antibody, we conjugate a very potent immune system stimulator. So when we administer this systemically, it's actually very safe uh, in the systemic environment. But only when it gets into the, the tumor micro environment does it actually get activated to stimulate the local immune system to kill those tumors. What specific tumors um, are you uh, testing and, and um, doing work with? So initially what we are looking at is our breast cancers mm -hmm. uh, and gastric cancers, some great uh, agents to treat breast cancer. Again, I have a lot of friends that within a few years after those treatments, that breast cancer comes back uh, and it's a real problem when it does. 
what types of patients are with the uh, the particular tumors that you're working on are the, the, the types of patients that are good candidates for this uh, therapy? These are patients who will have see, received what we call current standard of care uh, and have failed that, meaning they have become under-responsive to those current standards of care and their tumors are continuing to progress. And those today are the, the ideal candidates that we're beginning to do the initial tests on. Do they always have to have cancer that has recurred or could they just be becoming resistant? Is there some way that you can tell that a patient is becoming resistant to a therapy and treat them that way? Yeah, today about the only way to figure that out is to try treating them. Again, with current standard of care, and when we find that they're, they're not responsive, uh, we very rapidly move them on to uh, another option. So typically, we the patients that we will get in our initial studies will have failed, you know, at least one and probably two other types of therapy. So, what about some of the uh, some of the side effects? You mentioned those early on. Um, are they minimal? Well, today, you know, in our preclinical what we call toxicology studies, uh, we haven't identified any specific side effects that are associated with uh, the bolt bodies that, that we're looking at. But obviously that is part of the clinical study. The initial, what we call phase four, are all about making sure that they're safe in patients uh, and that we minimize any side effects that might be present. Is there some place that our listeners can get a, a more uh, in-depth information about bolt online? I think that, uh, yes, I think it's bolt, boltbio.com. Uh, and our webpage is where we, we describe what we do, boltbio.com, B-O-L-T-B-I-O.com. And they can see a lot more about what Bolt is doing uh, and the types of uh, studies that we have ongoing there. Well, Randy, I, I thank you for joining us here on Health Professional Radio this evening. And thank you, Neil. It's uh, been a great joy to talk to you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Audio copies of this conversation are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download it, SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.